What's up guys, your boy Kikuddy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to release the manual brake system um, in the game Resident Evil Zero. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do uh, is obviously get the key card so that you can get to the front. Uh, but if you don't have the key card, you shouldn't even be watching this video yet anyways. Um, I will show you guys how to get the key card in another video if you look in the description below or if you just head over to my channel. I will show you there how to get the key card in another video. But assuming that you have the key card and you are just looking to release the brake system, you're just trying to figure out how to uh, accomplish that. I will show you here how to do that. Uh, so what's going to happen is a uh, cutscene is going to happen, um, and it's going to give you a little bit of a book to explain the three different uh, steps to doing the manual release. Um, once that is done, it will ask you who you want to send to the back of the train and who you want to leave. Uh, doesn't really matter who you pick. I always pick to leave um, and take Rebecca to the back of the train. Once you've done that, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you don't leave this room uh, without this magnetic uh, key. If you do that, then you're probably going to run out of time if you run all the way to the back of the train without it. Um, once you grab that key card, you're just going to head out of here and you're going to head to the back of the train. So you're just going to have to weave your way through until you get all the way to the back where you will be using the magnetic key card and punching in the number. Now in here there will be a couple walkers, uh, oops, sorry walkers, you can tell I'm a Walking Dead fan. Uh, there will be a couple zombies in here, you're going to have to take them down um, to get through them without getting bitten. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, I still even get bitten in here because I think that I've taken them all down. There's still one. I just try and get by him, but uh, he grabs me anyways. So you won't have to take them all out. Uh, you have enough time to do it without uh, any hassle uh, of being able to actually complete the manual override. So you can take them down, avoid taking any damage, and then just continue to run to the back of the train. Same with your old pal here, you're probably going to have to uh, take him out as well, at least drop him so that he goes down, um, then you can run past him and uh, make your way to the back as well. Now you can see I didn't actually kill him there, he will get back up, but I just run past him anyways, because uh, obviously we're on a time limit here, so you got to get to the back as quick as you can, uh, so that you do not run out of time, or of course you will die. Alright, so I've made my way to the back of the train here. Uh, it's the same place that you got the grappling hook gun. i show you on the map here just in case you are unfamiliar with this area. And then right here on the wall you are going to find the keypad. First thing you want to do is you're going to want the magnetic keycard to unlock the, uh, the system so that you can use it. And what it's going to do is it's going to pop up a number on the screen. In my case here it is, it's 81. So what's going to happen is there's 10 slots and you need to use all the slots to equal 81. So you can see there, I used nine slots, got to 81, and then still had to use one, so it didn't work. So what I did here instead is I went nine until I hit 72, and I had two left, so I know that if I just used the five, the 77, and then the four, it would take me to 81, which will unlock it. So that's the only thing you gotta do here, is you just have 10 slots, um, the same goes at the front of the train, you need to equal whatever the number is with the 10 numbers that you are inputting. So at the front of the train, the number is obviously different and you can't see the numbers that you're inputting. So you need to do the math in your head or just pause the game and do it yourself. So in this case I did 8, 8 times, which is 64, and then I knew I needed to use 2 and 1 to get to 67. So that's how you release the manual brakes. I hope that helped you guys out. If it did, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. For now, I'm Kit Cuddy, and I'm out. Peace.